Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala barakatuh Alhamdulillah Alhamdulillah Rabbil Alamin Wassalatu wassalamu ala syarafil anbiya Ibn Mursalin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in Alhamdulillah With the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala We are still continuing our program To train 12,000 VIP life coaches all over the world InsyaAllah through our free Life Coach Training Program You go to our islamicpsychology.net And you can register It's quite easy to do And we have four modules More than uh, 600 videos already InsyaAllah So we have our PIP Certified Life Coach Out of the 600 videos You can select Motivational video, coaching video Mentoring video or counseling video Or a, a mix of it And then insyaAllah You can then Pick 30 videos Or your own research Or your own uh, project paper Submit to us and do one practicum, a life practicum. Whether it is you are coaching, or you are mentoring, or you are counselling, or you are giving a talk to a group of students, uh, that is enough for us to know that you are practically applying our positive Islamic psychology methodology. And inshallah, you will get a certified life coach to improve your curriculum vitae. Also, then you serve the mosque, the community, and so on. Eh? And also as a career, a life coach as a career, inshallah, in the future. So we also now, because I finished all the four modules, that means we have finished the motivation module, coaching module, mentoring module, counseling module. Now we are creating a new base of Islamic research. Eh? That means psychology research PIP. This is a new uh, YouTube all right It's psychology research pip but we still continue with our islamic psychology pip uh, the video number now is 400 plus but this will be just starting as video number one number two and so on because we want to have easier for you because we have to go to all our videos in islamic psychology pip this there alone there's 400 over videos we have 150 videos in islamic motivation pip separate and then we have islamic uh, uh, pip dakwah separate Now we have another YouTube channel, Islamic, uh, I mean, Psychology Research PIP. Yeah. So what we, what we do, as I explained before, is that we want to pick six areas of research which is relevant to positive Islamic psychology and relevant for the Ummah as we face the challenges of the 21st century. So those five, the six areas are research on consciousness, research, research on mind-body mind interaction, research on the heart-based CALP, our CALP research, Positive Cognitive Behaviour Therapy, PI SPI CBT Research Spiritual Emotional Mental Integration Research How we integrate ourselves as an integrated holistic human being And then Positive Islamic Psychology Research All this dwell on uh, societal issues, umatic issues, civilizational issues And issues that we have to face as we uh, live in this 21st century Which is radically, radically different from the Uh, 7th century Arabia or even the 18th century or the 19th or even the 20th century that is an acceleration of change uh, that we have to face like it or not in the 21st and 22nd century where there will be many many new things in which we have to then reframe our role as a positive ummah in the 21st century and 22nd century so that is where these are the areas of research which I am going to elucidate from time to time if I have material on Islamic psychology, positive I would use that. If I have material on consciousness, I will, so we will just jumble about. But each of them will collect according to the subheading. Eh? So if it's sub -re consciousness research, it's all about consciousness, consciousness, and so on. But remember, human being is integrated. We have our consciousness in our spiritual, emotional, mental, and physical self. Eh? So I'm just splitting this up just to give you some flavor for you then to be able to do your uh, research, your own personal research and then you can then certif uh, become expert in certain areas in which we are going to discuss. Huh? So today I'm going to give you a, an idea of positive Islamic psychology research, number six. Huh? All right. So what are the things that we need to do in terms of our research? Positive transformation levels. All right. Within an Islamic worldview, our tenets of Islam, we know that we have levels of existence. All right. Not only the levels of distinction at the self, the self also there is already the levels at the animal level, uh, the an amoeba level, insect level, and then going downwards into mineral level, crystals, atomic level, and so on. So this is this is on the, I'm taking the self as the center, but in Islamic uh, metaphysics, yeah, even going down into the atomic, there is the atomic 
sciences of Islam, uh, which are radically different from the atomic sciences of, that you see today. Uh, but it can be adapted because it has succinctly explained very deep understanding of the nature of this universe. So we have a transformational program at the self. What role do a um, truly uh, practicing Muslim have to do with this existence in the 21st and 22nd century where you have artificial intelligence, you have robotics, you have uh, surveillance, ovalian, you can now uh, with facial recognition, they can survey, uh, they can have surveillance al al algorithm, all right? with this integration of surveillance, uh, artificial intelligence, who is going to control the world? And how you as an individual will then help to shape a better world rather than o an Orwellian world, uh, a world of uh, suspicion, a world of uh, uh, oppression, a world of injustice. So the role of individual self now is so critical today. And how you play that role as a Muslim and a mu'min will then shape this civilization because we are, for Muslims, we are uh, 1.7 billion, uh, one quarter of humanity is are Muslims. So how are we going to play that positive role in shaping this civilization so that first, as at the level of the self, we are an, an, uh, a living entity, an understanding and having a good, wonderful, balanced life in this world. So the self is very important. Eh? Then, uh, as I say, I will explain in, in the, the detail. Then we have, what is the role of the family system? Then what are the role of the society and ummah? What are the role at the global level and the universe level? But as we go upward into these levels, each and every one of them has challenges and has opportunities. So we have both challenges and opportunities. We have both negative aspect we have also we have positive aspect so how are we going to do uh, our psychology forming the, the 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 mindset of each individual muslim within the framework of positive psychology to lead a good life and to contribute towards the development of a society and the global world or globalization and the universe that is consonant with the grace and the mercy and the love of allah because Allah allows us to choose. We, we are given the choice to become a believer or become a disbeliever. We are given a choice to uh, do hasanah, do good, or we are also given a choice to do evil. All right? But unfortunately, the 19th, 20th, and 21st century civilization is directed towards the fulfillment of greed and ego and injustice. So the, the, the mental framework, the psychology of a modern human being is greed, all right desire passion and selfishness so this is these are the qualities that is actually destructive if this continue that means this this civilization will not be able to exist maybe another hundred years or so so what is important is how we're going to frame the role of this individual the family societal global and i'm going to give you some pointers eh, based on what we have presented to you for example this is our positive Islamic psychology model, which I have explained many times, how the total past learning history that we, as this is us, all right, the self, that we have our four levels, our physical self, our spirit, our heart, our mind, and then this all our action in terms of perception uh, comes from the physical environment, social, intra and intersocial environment, affects perception, inner speech from ourself, the feedback loop, all right, and then how this affects behavior. So, understand this model we can then shape a positive transformational program for individual for family for society and for the world so this is the first base in which you can reflect upon and improve upon eh? that means this is our positive Islamic psychology model all right and then within this model we explain the four rims of our existence eh? that as we exist on this earth we have our physical self the jasad we have our akal our mind we have our cult and then we have our role so we are living both in the spiritual realm and the physical realm fused together as we exist on this physical world. So again, this is a model that we are presenting and then how you can then shape the positive values within the four realms of existence. Alright, and we also given to you in the past videos 
what we call the spiritual, emotional, mental and physical iceberg. The physical self is very, actually very, very small, but we put it quite big here. These are the outward behavior. So the visible self is actually a tiny, weeny, weeny bits of our true existence. But we have our existence at the spiritual, emotional, mental and subconscious self where our non-visible are perception, attitude, values, beliefs, inward behaviors and states. Eh? Our states, our hal within the Islamic uh, metaphysics. Eh? And how we can then use this as a base of transformational tool, eh? applying various transformational tools, uh, various psychological uh, techniques, practical application that we can shape towards the positive value system of the self, the, uh, the family, the ummah and uh, global community. And then we also can relate this eh? because in our research we also must relate, for example, one of most of the influential thinkers of the uh, 20th century is uh, Carl Jung. So Carl Jung all right, has given his idea of consciousness, personal unconsciousness, collective unconsciousness, which has some reference to the idea of uh, what we see as a nature of human being, as, as, as a persona, as a psyche. So he has given his outlook in so far as uh, some of it is quite close to the Islamic value, some of it is far off, but we can then uh, do research and then how we want to integrate, for example, Carl Jung's idea with the Islamic uh, idea of uh, psychology and the psyche. Eh? For example, he says, consciousness, con the conscious stream wants fields of awareness consisting of psychic content of one that has knowledge, that is Carl Jung's idea. Then we have the personal unconscious, the unconscious psychic content, which one is an unaware, so unconscious and collective unconscious, and then you have this collective unconscious at the bottom. Alright, so this whole spectrum of the nature or the hierarchy of being is being explained by Carl Jung. Eh? And when we do research, we can then draw on this Western philosophy and Western psychology together with the nature of transcendent, uh, integrated nature of Islamic psychology and how then we can frame a positive Islamic psychology modality. Eh? All right. Then we have explained to you in many, many other videos how our nafs, as we operate on this earth, start uh, at, at the operational level of the physical level, then the mind, then the heart, and then the roh. And this is a cycle of existence as we live on this earth. So from here, we can see that there is a lot of area of research. I'm just giving you a taste of how we can apply some of these collective uh, ideas that I have mentioned in the so many videos and then you frame your understanding of this transformational aspect that we can understand in so far as how we're going to affect ourselves, our family, our society and the ummah, the global and the universe and starting with the self we can then have a wonderful positive Islamic psychology approach to transform the Ummah in the 21st century. That is our goal. Eh? So this research is open to all of you. I'm just giving you a taste of what are the potentialities and the, uh, the framework in which you can work. And this is not the final framework. I remember these are just taste from the various videos, about the 600 videos that I have uploaded. And if you are really uh, keen in studying all this understanding of the nature of positive Islamic psychology, then, inshallah, you can then frame a better idea, do more research papers, do your master's or PhD, and then develop a worldview, a psychology, the psyche of an ummah that is progressive, that is productive, that is peaceful, that is loving, that is caring, that is full of justice. We try to recreate the goodness of this world in so far as a jannah on this earth. No doubt it is a very difficult task. But we should not dwell on the negativity of how we are being shaped by hatred, sectarianism and so on. So I will go into the nature of the self insofar as how we want to shape the transformational program for the Ummah, inshallah, in the next video. Remember, we are all the servants of Allah, the steward of Allah that He has created us to be His Khalifa on this earth, always striving to make ourselves good, helping others to be good and making the world good, inshallah.